my Matthew Palmer Extra Large Tree and Texture Brush. It's been designed for painting those close-up trees that may be overhanging a picture or maybe a nice dense woodland effect. The difference between this brush and the other ones out there is that this one has been designed for the hairs to clump together so it makes little tiny leaves with every stipple. Every time you pick up more paint, it'll give you a different separation effect. So clean the brush, give it a gentle squeeze, get the excess water out of the brush. And if I mix up a nice yellow and blue, aureolin and natural blue, for example, or you could use a cadmium yellow or something, mix it all through, give it a good mix and a good stipple, and we can create the nice effect. If you look at the end of the brush, you can see it's all nice and spiky, and it's all separated itself into these individual areas. It's a nice, soft, natural hairbrush. And as you stipple, gentle stipple, straight down, you can see how effective that is at giving individual leaves. Turn it the other way, so the long hairs are at the bottom. It's also very nice for doing grassy effects in the foreground of a picture. A very useful brush. And it's made painting woodland pictures very easy. The XL Tree Brush was really designed for doing this kind of woodland effect. It makes painting this mass of foliage very, very easy. You can see how I've gently stippled on. This picture started off wet into wet. I used a light yellow green to start with, worked around, and went darker towards the bottom to create distance. And then once it was all finished, I went back over the top to add the nice individual leaf effect. This winter scene was done exactly the same using browns and greys instead of the greens and you can see how I've gone back over the top of the tree just to put on a few little dead autumn leaves. Mm -hmm.